<laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Episode 27. Sound reductor over the microphone Whatever it is. microphone <laughs> Whatever it is. We are back for another episode. Episode of Schlop. Schloop. Episode 27. I'm just running back and forth. So what are we going to do today? First, All right. Ross? So what we're going to do is we did some research on the next guys because we're nerds. Yeah. Then our network. And, and we're going to go take on some of the routes before we go to Silco. Question. Yes. Not saying, sir. Does what? he stay with us or does he go? Who do we have in, like... The oh, that PC. is a good question. It's been a while. It has been a bit. I've been sick for the past couple of weeks, and we haven't been able to record due to that. Plus, my car broke down. Yeah, it sucked. Yeah. Hey, so, I forgot oh. we got E curb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but as soon as I re oh, it's Bruce backwards. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's been a couple weeks. I don't uh, know why. We got Jiffle. <laughs> I really, I, I really want to put Jiffle on the table. All right, Jiffle gets on. <laughs> Just because, like, no, it'll, not Coco. Be, it'll be like a lot more training, but you know what, Jiffle's gonna Jiffle. be a special attacker, right? Yeah. So we can. Oh, speaking of special attack, yeah. I spent six hours grinding. Uh, let me show you something really quick in the PC. Okay. Um, what happened? If you got Ross, by the time we're recording this, I don't, don't think that you've seen oh, the good. last episode that we recorded go up. No, I haven't. But in the end, there is a super-speeded grinding montage that took six hours, but the end result of it, as you can see in the very bottom, is a level 100 Persian. The reason it is level 100 what and its name is Money do? Slave is because it has payday. Now, as you can see, we have about the same amount of money. In fact, we have the exact same amount of money. Because I not only bought an, got enough money at use, by grinding it in the wild using payday over uh, and over and over again, the game expects you to do lottery machines, but I know my luck's terrible, so I just broke the Nuzlocke rule just to catch a Persian and grind it, which we're never going to use, to purchase the tokens to purchase Ice Beam, to purchase Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, and Shadow Ball. So I got so many tokens <laughs> that it took six hours at hyper speed, like this speed. And one, <laughs> one, one 100 Persia later. Yeah, one level 100 Persia, Persian later. And you can see it in the grinding montage of how, of its ever like it's growing, its evolution. I, I'll have to watch it. Um, and the like, music I used for it, later. it's fantastic. I love it. Is it that one song that like I told you that I really liked that you've used before? Nope. You're, nope. Not that one. That I was not that used was song so like not specific whatsoever. Nope. Not at all. No. But as you can see, we're missing something here. Oh, we caught this. Wait, what happened to our Snorlax? It's in our team. Right? It's in our team. Okay. But the reason I ran all the way over here is because there is th another one. I've heard rumors in while well, wandering around Saffron City. Really? That there is another one right below Lavender Town. What? That has been causing some ruckus and has so are, been blocking the way. Are you saying that we have to harness our inner Pokemon Ranger and, like, go? Yes. We will have to Pokemon Go and Pokemon Ranger this Pokemon. This. This. Uh. This. This. Sorry, get this, it out. This. This. this Pokemon. Okay. I believe in you. Stadium. There you uh, go. And <laughs> <laughs> in, in this time of. Gale and Darkness. XD, XD, XD. Because <laughs> of the face. Yeah. Like a really old text <laughs> message. Really go. Wait, can you see Arcuna from where he sets the binoculars? I think so. You can have the TM and you don't need any more from the little girl. What did we get? A return. That's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Coco. <laughs> Coco would dominate with that. Actually, who's up front? Is Jeff up front? Yeah. Alright, good. Because we're going to be swapping. It's 40 HP at 12. I feel like that's a lot. It Let's is. see what the binoculars have to show, Ross. All right. It's, it's Pokemon, Pokemon Tower. Tower. Okay. Cool. Let's see what the binoculars have to show, Ross. There's a man fishing. Just kidding. I lied. <laughs> there's no, there's no like awesome thing. There might be. Like, it might be a random chance. <laughs> I was watching like another like Pokemon cartoon, and like the other day on YouTube, and it, it's pretty funny, but it uh. Oh, oh, man. Yeah! Battle! I got a bite here! Nice. And, like, <laughs> the guy's, like, just a really bad trainer. Yeah. And he... Fisherman. Bre man. He breeds a perfect Bidoof. 
Yeah, that has, it. That has godlike power. Mm -hmm. You can say that name of Siri, that's not a problem. Oh, okay. Well, it's Pokemon Rusty. I'm not saying it here. Pokemon Rusty version. Yes, it's great. But if you guys uh, want, you guys can go check that out. It's worth it. It's so good. The latest episode, spoilers, is like they go to the Safari, they find a Suicune. You know, Safari from the lake. And they're like, alright! Peanut Butter is what he named his godlike Bidoof. Yeah. And, like, when I say godlike, his Bidoof is a god. It's a literal deity. It's, it's a literal god. And so, he destroys it, and he goes up to catch the swing, and he's like, oh man, another bone type. <laughs> hey! Because it's dead. Because it's dead. He got fried. And then, so, like, you go through the Safari Zone, and you find out that legendaries aren't legendaries because they're rare. They're legendaries because they're poached. And so... <laughs> hunted to near extinction. Yeah, they're hunted to near extinction, and that's why they're they're rare. They, uh, made, the, they made the reference, like, a Pidgey and a Zapdos aren't, that, aren't really that much... Different. Yeah. It's just that Pidgeys are more common because people don't see, don't find them as attractive to poach. I was like, that puts a whole other spin on the Pokemon universe. And it's not wrong because there are multiple legendaries in the Pokemon universe. Yeah. Like there's multiple. Uh, I almost slept to jump in out of like <laughs> looking at Ross. Die. There are multiple. Um, Entei, aren't there? Like there's yeah. multiple. Uh, Raikous and Swedish. The big three birds. Uh, Raikus and Smeekus, there are... There's Baby Lugia. That's right, there's Baby Lugia, which is never explained or... It's weird. It's yeah. in an episode. Yeah. Jiffle, level 13. Double slap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jiffle is learning double slap. This boy right here can slap things around. And we're going to get rid of Encore. I like Encore. Too bad. Why? Look at, you can see Swab's mouth. I know. <laughs> Swab is so happy. He's like, <laughs> He's like I'm Swab. I finally got a mouth! I can Goldine. finally eat Skuldeen. Zip! Dude, he's just wrecking house. Speaking of which, I got those TMs and I was wondering who we should teach them to. I think we should save them. You should, we should save them? Yeah. Okay, see if they learn it on their own, etc. Well, not only that, but just wait until we have more powerful Pokemon like later in the game. Well, I'm telling you right now, Charlie Brown can't learn any more moves, so if we're gonna use Sludge Bomb on him, we should use Sludge Bomb on him. I guess. But what if we catch like an OP... Gen 8 Muck. <laughs> Not only a Lowland Muck, an unannounced region Muck. I just lucked out so hard. <laughs> it, it has wings? Yeah, Clefairy's got little wings, like a little bow tie. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I never realized that those were wings. I thought they were just like little spikes coming out of its back. But it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let's go, okay. Okay, Swap's got this. I feel like Goldine gets horn drilled soon. It does. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> concerning. Yeah. Horn drill's great, you know. Uh, I really want to get a Pokemon with a one-shot move. That is one of my goals. Fisher. Yes! Is it Fisher or Fissure? It's Fissure. Oh, good. Because it's like a hole in the ground. Oh, well. Oh, let me just look at Heomi. I haven't looked at Heomi yet, I don't think. Bold Nature. I thought it was Eomi. Or Eomi, right? Yeah. I don't know why. Uh, the H is silent. I remember yeah. discussing that. Alright, I... Coco. Let me see. What am I thinking? Uh, we can be like a... We can Jesus. be... A, we can be like some other dumbasses and teach our Snorlax Hyper Beam. Uh, you know that's physical in this gen. Shit, never mind. You know, I was going to do that. In fact, I purchased a few Hyper Beams. A few? Dan, how much did you grind? <laughs> six hours worth, Ross! <laughs> you know what you could have been doing with those six hours of your life? Just reading and improving <laughs> myself. <laughs> Anything else? I've been grinding one patch of grass with a Persian. <laughs> At what level were those Pokemon on there? 17. Ross. <laughs> Ross. And I found out that uh, Payday scales with your level. Oh, so you got paid more the, the yeah, higher the level. You were level 100, you know how much you got per battle? How much? 500. I bet how much you were getting from a trainer. Yeah, it's a shame I didn't want to make any progress, so, like, off camera, so I just kind of had to grind 
in the little patch. It's not like we beat a trainer by accident through grinding before. I don't think we have actually. I thought we did that one time in the, dark, in the cave. Oh, we might have been like, oops. Oh yeah, that one trainer right there. Yeah, she had a clue there. Yeah. I know we're not swap training right now, but uh, it's because I don't keep wanting to get damage on swap. Jiffle's just attacking the first thing and ducking yeah, no, yeah. 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 Looking back on it, uh, probably should have kept not sand Surf in the uh, party. Why? Because we're gonna come fight a Snorlax, and he was putting in work against the other one. <laughs> um, actually, well, we're gonna see what uh, nature this Snorlax is down here. Because I plan on catching it. Spoilers. Okay. If I win, I'm gonna propose to Gia. Man, I kind of want to let him propose. I like hope it's happy his... ending. <gasps> what is his name? Jim. Or Jess. Jess. Oh. Gia and Jess. Why? What were you thinking? Gia and Lou? Is that a thing? Lou Gia. Okay, I get it. Oh. Oh. Professionalism! Sorry. Professionalism! Sorry. Can you go take it? That's just a college. <laughs> <laughs> Enough, I'm big. Yeah. You owe me hitting the field for the first time on these baby mons. Mark, I need you. Hold on. I actually may need to take this report. To break this like... Nitterin plus. Alright, I am soloing the field right now. Mark is just in the body. Oh no, he's poisoned. Welcome to the uh, Solo Podcast, the Nerd Network exclusive with just me, Ben. I hope everybody's having a lovely day out um, and enjoying this great world that we all inhabit together. Um, if you have been, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below just how good your day has been and what you've been up to. I hope it's been lovely. Uh, and I hope what you've been up to includes leaving a like, a comment, and a subscription down below, as it really helps the Nerd Network grow and expand and become what it is meant to be, a network of nerds. Hey, well, we got some monies. I don't know what I was, that was all about. I just kind of felt like uh, whispering seductively into your ears. So I'm just going to try and get rid of this antidote, because Mark does not like being poisoned. Do we have any potions? How many... I, t I mentioned to Ross that we have multiple Hyper Beams. I think we only have two? I could be wrong. Did I buy Hyper Beam? I didn't buy Hyper Beam. <gasps> I am wrong. I thought I bought Hyper Beam. Man, we need to go back and do that soon. Do we have regular potions? I don't want to use a Super Potion on healing. We have four Rare Candies. That's good to know. Uh, super Potion. We're just going to use it because we have 21 of them. There we go. You get some... And you get some. And Jiffle. Now yeah, you can do without, right? What is, what, what's our Pokeball look, uh, setup looking like? We got 30. Okay. We, we can handle that. Uh, actually, I don't even feel comfortable with leaving Jiffle in, in front. Uh, who can take it? Swap can probably paralyze. But... I don't know, like, hold on, I need to check everybody's moves real quick. I continue to exit out of it. Again, it's been a couple weeks since we've recorded, so the controls are kind of a problem. Infatuation might not be bad, but I don't want Jiffle taking a hit. There's no way it can survive. Uh, let's see, we got... Nope, nothing that can do anything like that. We can flash the crap out of it until it's inaccurate. Uh, cut, Giga Drain, Sleep Powder, but it has rest. Um, Mega Kick. Nope. So we're just gonna have to chuck in Iomi and just start spamming the balls, right? Just go nuts with it. Alright, come at us. Wanna use the Poke Flute? Heck, yeah we do. Schlop. Play the Poke Flute. That's right, it's Schlop, not Schloop, believe it or not. Uh, we are doing this right here, right now. Snorlax woke up and it is attacking us in a grumpy rage. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Man, I was kind of hoping for, like, a shiny just to be, lose my damn mind about. But this will have to do. So we're just going to straight up yawn it first. Burn that berry that I know it has. Oh, my God. That does a lot of damage. Good to know. But we're going to make it drowsy real quick. And we're going to actually hit it with a headbutt ourselves. Oh, what? That's right. Get that rest out of here. Get played, son. Jesus, he only thrown on a crit immediately. Is that gonna pop its berry? Yep, there it goes. We're just gonna go ahead and start chucking balls, but at least we know that it can't do its like resto chesto uh, thing. We don't wanna get crit right now, but it won't 
kill us, but it will not feel good. We don't have a hyper potion, but it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Uh oh. Oh, Snore? It's, it's lame. It is a lame Snorlax. So let's just keep going, chucking these balls at it. Eventually, one of these will have to stick, right? Oh, one, two, three. Hey, that was a lot faster than the Yomi battle. Now, what are we going to name this one? I have an idea. I was kind of hoping it would be female, uh, but we're going to call it... We're going to go over here. We're going to do this. And name it this. And... Pusheen the Snorlax. We have Pusheen. Oh, no, we got to get him out of the Shadow Realm. He's not dead. We got to get him out. Let's go. We cannot stay in the Shadow Realm for too long or else we become corrupted. The last thing we need is a corrupted Pusheen. So let's just go. Okay. And we're going to compare Pusheen versus Iomi and see just who is better than who. And uh, we'll keep whoever seems to be doing the most work in stat-wise or whoever has the best, better nature. Because uh, end goal... I want to teach Hyper Beam to a Snorlax. I think this is the generation where if it kills a Mon, uh, it doesn't need to recharge. You can just spam it. All right, Pusheen, you're not dead. At least not yet. So let's get you out of here. All right, let's take Iomi, same level, and place her next to each other and just check each other out. Let's see, you got a naive nature and you got a bold nature. I feel like bold is better defensively. Oh, my God. Uh, wow, Pusheen just dominates Iomi and almost every way except for health. Uh, it does have a worse ability though. It's good to know. It is faster. Uh, this one is like a defensive one and this is a more offensive one. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, so... <sighs> I'm trying to make a decision here. This is going to be like our fast sweeper but this has a great ability. You know what, I think we're going to take Pusheen first. So yeah, we're going to pluck up Pusheen, throw that right in our party. And that's going to sit right there while Iomi was putting in work and all. Pusheen is now sitting in our party. Let's go buy those hyper, po these hyper beams that I was talking about earlier, because I had checked and I didn't have them. So, whoops, we're just going to zip around, zip around town and go grab ourselves some hyper beams. Ross just came into the office and was like, giving me a weird look. He's on the phone. <laughs> She'll have something to talk about next episode about it. And we're almost there. Oh, hello, Polyrath. And we're up. Let's see. What floor is it for TMs? I feel like it's... This floor? Is it this floor? Is it this floor? No, but this gives us, like, regular potions and stuff. Hmm. Is it this one? Aha, this is the one. I just backed out instinctively. Thinking it'd be wrong. Alright, we can buy one of these. Okay. And I think I will buy one. I know Mark can have Hyper Beam, and that will just be devastating. But I think I'm going to go ahead and spend a Hyper Beam on Snorlax, because I don't see us getting a better normal type. <laughs> a more physical, offensive normal type. So, yeah, we're just gonna use on Pusheen. Yes, you do want to learn Hyper Beam. What would you like replaced for it? Hmm. Uh, well, we're not gonna use Rest, so we're not gonna use Snore in that case. So we're just gonna teach you Hyper Beam. And then we'll find another TM to get rid of. Or we'll give you Body Slam or Strength or something to get rid of Rest. I don't know. But Pusheen, here you go, buddy. Congratulations. Welcome to the team. You now have the strongest move. And you will just wreck all of the lives. Wait, do we have anything that we can sell? Because I don't, I don't remember if we do or not. Uh, doesn't look like it. Not off the bat anyway. I don't see, right? Oh, this is PP up. We don't want to sell that. Nope, we are... All out of selling things. So, the only thing about Hyper Beam is that it's 90% accurate, but uh, honestly, with health stat like that, don't matter. And defenses, too. Sure, uh, Iomi had the better ability, but I just feel more confident with a sweeping uh, 
a more physical. If we're going to go for Hyper Beam, I want the higher attack stat. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to defend myself because now I'm kind of regretting putting away Yomi because he was been in the team a little bit. He's kind of situated in. But I just, I don't know. Pusheen kind of has an air about him. You know what I'm saying? He's charismatic. Now, what we were doing was we were clearing out the side routes because we did some research and we found out we're not high enough level to take on Sylphco yet. So we need to go grind out just a tad bit. And to do that, we're going to hit up... Uh, one episode is going to be Bike Road, and a couple episodes are going to be the road that we were just on to catch the Snorlax. So, uh, yeah. Okay, who's ready for that? I know I am. A lot of grinding. But then again, what that's what Pokemon's all about, is grinding and bonding through your Pokemon, through the grinding. Am I right? Like, I feel... Like, people, a lot of people who don't like Pokemon just miss that point completely. It's like, the whole point is to grind, to grow with the Pokemon through the grind. Speaking about growing with Pokemon through the grind, hey, Ross, how you doing? Good, how about you? Uh, so you were on the phone? Oh, that was uh, a university calling, saying, hey, you should take our classes. I was like, I want to, but I'm busy right now. A... Doing, you know, professional stuff. And they were like, okay, cool. Um, well, is there a better time we can call? And so they put on the most upbeat classical music I've hey, ever heard. Hey, you were on hold, life. man. <laughs> but no, it, so like, it was like, you know, like the like speed up stuff that pe the comedians do. And it's like, the, like, yeah. it was that, but like two times faster. Jesus. And I was like, what is going on in my ears? And that's why I came in and made that weird face at you. Cause... Ah, okay. Yeah. You see uh, this guy? Yeah. He's about to give us a rod. He's the fishing guru's younger brother. Oh. He's going to give us the good rod. I simply love fishing. Okay. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? No. No, I do not like oh, to fish. Oh, that's so disappointing. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I've completely forgotten about our conversation a second ago. You like to fish? Grand! I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. And we received the super rod. Oh. What is a good rod? It does not exist. Because the younger brother is always good with the super rod. What? If you catch a big magic carp with that rod, I want to see it. As much as I love the fish, I also love the big magic What happens and if I you do bring lie. him a magic card? Uh, I think it's just like... I don't know. I remember trying to do that in like Gen 2 because they also have that feature. Yeah. Um, but I don't remember what he gives. But someone I want to introduce you to is Pusheen. Pusheen. Pusheen the naive Snorlax. Statistically, she hits harder. Okay. And uh, she's she faster. To poison. And she's immune to poison, which is not bad. It saves us some antidotes. But she does not resist fire and ice like the other one does. So the other one's defensive and has more HP than Pusheen does. But Pusheen hits harder. And hitting hard is important because Pusheen's got Hyper Beam now. Okay. So if we're sending Pusheen out, we're sending Pusheen out to blow something away. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, we will end today's episode with oh. a little patch of grass. So if you guys the dancing flowers. If you guys want to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, please do. If you already have, make sure you leave a comment down below saying that you have. So show some hype in the chat. And we will see you guys next time on the Nerd Network. Ross, do you have anything you want to say and send him off with? I mean, what if that's flowy? Oh, God! <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm.